so I figured while I had all of my stuff out, I might as well do a couple of other tests oh, for things I was wondering about. Um, the first is an opacity test for these kind of brightly colored FW inks, because the white um, is fairly opaque on black paper. Um, once you start layering it, then you can see how not opaque it was. So if there was any way I could get like an initial application down uh, that would kind of hide <laughs> um, subsequent layers, I would like it a lot better. Sorry, I'm shaking the green while I'm talking to you guys because it is um, a very pigmented ink. And these are also like the two lightest color FW inks I currently own other than Pearl. So I just wanted to see really quick how opaque they were because, I mean, that might be something there. I don't know. You never know until you try, right? Okay, so, like, it goes on. It goes on pretty opaque, the blue. Um, which is kind of nice. I mean, it is nice. I'm not... It. it uh, I'm just concerned that it'll dry lighter, but it actually looks okay. Um, and probably if I was using a non-synthetic brush, I might be able to get a little bit better application. This is just me trying to get it down. So that's kind of cool. And then if you apply more, it looks like it layers the way, yeah, now, now we're getting like the blue I'd kind of hope for. Um, and now I'm going to test the green, because if these work well, I might end up sinking money into... I say sinking, because it's like, I buy all these things, and I'm like, I'm totally going to use it. Totally going to use it, like, every day. It's going to be great. And I don't know. Ah, yeah, see? The green is far less opaque on initial application. Because, like... One of the reasons I bought, ended up buying a lot of um, the Windsor Newton pigment markers is because I thought they were going to be kind of like gouache. Oh, but it does layer. That's that's cool. So you could paint with it. I thought it was going to be like gouache in um, a marker kind of thing regarding opacity, and it's not. And I was kind of disappointed about that. Okay, second thing I wanted to test is I swear I saw a calligrapher using one of these like um, silicone tipped, silicone tip, sorry, um, color shapers to do calligraphy. And um, my calligraphy is not, not really, this isn't good paper by the way, this is just a scrap because I'm just kind of like testing. And I'm gonna use some of the black from my Inktober. So that's like the Kuratake 60 uh, Sumi ink or India ink. It's a waterproof ink when it's fully dry. If I can get it undone without spilling everywhere because that's kind of a problem with these dinky dips is um, the caps sometimes dry on and you can end up getting ink everywhere. But other otherwise, they're great. I mean, okay, so let's try it. It is not nearly as sexy as it looked when they did it. Nope, not sexy at all. Because basically, oh man, now it's at the point where it doesn't want to stay on at all. <laughs> basically, it doesn't absorb any water. It just sits on the surface. So what, what were they using? Because it wasn't a brush. And it wasn't this. Maybe a rubber one? Do they make rubber ones? I don't know. If you know, I think it was like uh, calligrapha, calligraphicas. Is that how you say it? Um, I follow them on Tumblr. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about and you can tell me what they were using, I would really like to know because I think it's really cool. Um, even if it's not like very practical for me. And that's how the acrylic ink dried, by the way, for the most part dried. So the, the turquoise is actually really nice. Um, the green's okay, and the green layer's okay. Um, but if you know what I'm talking about, I would really appreciate you letting me know, because I would love to mess around with it. My own calligraphy skills are kind of sad. 
But I also have these Bombay India inks, and I figured they would dry, and I also have like a, a weird brown. So, I mean, while I'm doing this, I might as well do this, right? Because um, I'm sure there are people, other people who are interested in mark making on colored paper or mark making on like just anything that isn't white to a, with a degree of opacity. Okay, that does not look like it's going to be nearly as opaque as the blue was. Womp womp. I don't know. I've been wanting to, like, kind of have a, a more Mary Blair-inspired kind of sub-style. That, I mean, it isn't, like, not, like, Mary Blair rip-off, just, like like vibrant colors, simplified shapes on dark backgrounds. Ugh, that's, it's, a, it's an okay color. It's just not good on black. So that's a no. I didn't really have high hopes for it anyway though. So finding things I can use that look good, I seriously doubt this is gonna be opaque. Uh, would help me in that end. Oh yeah, that's like, very translucent. Okay, so now we know that so far the turquoise is the best because it probably has, I mean, turquoise and white and the pearlescent are the best because it probably has a fair amount of um, white in it anyway, or at least like a lot of coverage ability. All right, so that was like six minutes, almost seven minutes. <laughs> noodling around. Um, I hope that inspired you or one of you can answer my questions because I'd really like to know because now I'm curious. All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye.